Hello everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. It's summertime and I want to bring you a slew of delicious recipes, perfect for these hot summer days. We are going to start off with Mexican street corn on the cob. Okay, so we're going to take these delicious fresh corn on the cobs and we're going to give it an amazing Mexican flavor a creamy sauce that's going to be slathered over it and then we're going to give it crumbled cheese we'll talk about that and then top it off with some extra goodness that'll make it Mexican style you guys ready all right let's go ahead and put this one together now there's several ways that you can cook your corn before we turn it into the street corn you can put it on your barbecue grill now I have to tell you that when I said that to my husband, he's like, what? <laughs> it's like almost 100 degrees outside and he's not gonna go out there and start the grill for some corn. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the way that I'm gonna prepare it. But you can also bake your corn. You can wrap it up in some foil after you've seasoned your corn and given it a little bit of butter for some flavor. So you can do that or you can do it my way. I had to pull him out of the refrigerator. He was sitting there looking for a big, fat, juicy steak to put on that grill. <laughs> so that's why we're not grilling he couldn't find the steak okay so I'm just gonna be using a large deep skillet or you can use a large pot just fill it up with some water so we're just gonna place the burner on a high heat we're gonna salt the water about half a tablespoon it'll flavor the corn now while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, let's talk about the corn. Now I like to take a skewer and push it through the bottom end of the corn and cut off up to two inches of the stick. That way you can kind of hold it and when we're slathering it, we have something to hold on to while we're doing that or you can eat it like that. Now that's an optional step. So you'll just take a skewer. I'm not really worried about soaking these because we're just boiling it. So if you were to put it on the grill with the skewer, you would want to soak this first in water for about 30 minutes to get it nice and wet so it doesn't catch on fire. So we're going to stand up our corn on the, the tip and then just take our skewer. It's got the point on the end right here. Just place it on top and then just push it in as far down as you can get it. You want to go about halfway. You don't have to go too far into it because we're going to cut off up to two inches of the stick. About right there. You want it to fit into your pot. There we go. Okay, once your water starts coming to a boil, we're going to start adding the corn. Now you want to add it very carefully, that way you don't slosh yourself. And if it appears that you have too much water, you can pull some of that water out. I'm going to place the lid on. I'm going to boil this for about five to seven minutes until you get to the desired texture of the corn. Usually if around five it's crunchier and about seven or eight minutes you get a softer corn. Okay I've turned off the heat. We're going to remove the lid and then what I'm going to do is take each corn on the cob. Oh look at how yellow that is. Oh. I'm just going to put it on a kitchen towel and just kind of roll it around and then we're going to place it on a plate. We're just going to get some of that excess water off and dry them up a little bit. We don't want that nice creamy sauce to fall off of these. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to set these off to the side. 
we're gonna go ahead now and start making that delicious Mexican flavored creamy sauce that we're gonna slather onto those corn cobs. So just in a medium bowl, we're going to add half a cup of mayonnaise. Now I'm not guessing with this, I have my measuring spoon in the bowl there. All right, to that we're gonna add a quarter cup of sour cream. Yeah, these are great tools. You can go in and measure something. They got a long handle, and these measure in cups. So a half a cup, a quarter cup, eighth of a cup, and then you have a third of a cup, and also the one cup. So that's always good. I was looking for my, oh, there it is, my spoon. <laughs> All right. We're gonna sprinkle in some chili powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in some garlic salt. I like this because it has the salt and the garlic blend in it. So we're gonna sprinkle that across. Now if you don't have that, you can just put in a quarter teaspoon of salt and some garlic powder. We got that garlic that's gonna come out on these corns. We're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna take a lime. Let me roll it a little bit, release some of the juices in it. All right, so I'm just going to cut it on my cutting board. We're going to squeeze about half of the lime in there. It's going to give some really good flavor. There we go. All right, we're going to mix this all together. Ooh, that looks good. It looks good. Let's give it a taste and see if it tastes good. Mm. Oh, that's good. I think it needs a little bit more chili powder. What's great about this is you can make it as spicy or not as spicy as you want. And then we've got a sauce. All right. All right, grab you a pastry brush, an ear of corn. We're gonna put it tip down into the sauce and take your brush and then we're gonna coat the corn till we can't see the corn. A nice thin layer. Now you don't wanna clump it on there but we do want to cover the corn. So work your way around. That's what's great about that skewer inside here. You can keep turning your corn. All right, pick it up, get all the excess off. And then we're gonna place it on our plate. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some smoked paprika across the corn. My husband thinks there's Tonga drums going on in here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with that freshly grated queso fresco cheese. Now there's several options. You can use that cheese, you can use the cojija cheese, you can use Parmesan cheese, and also you can use a feta cheese if you want to use that. So it's all on your taste. We love this cheese right here, queso fresco. All right, it's going across the top. It's definitely starting to look like summer on a plate. I'm just gonna put a pop of cilantro across it. Okay, everyone. What do y'all think of my Mexican street corn on the cob? Which one's yours? I'm ready to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm, that was good. 
<laughs> Make sure you bring some napkins with this one. Mmm, <laughs> that corn is so fresh. It still has some bite to it, which was really delicious. And that mayonnaise sour cream sauce with those Mexican flavors, that is delicious. My favorite part is that queso cheese on there. <laughs> so delicious. Okay, you guys, mmm, make you some. It's really easy. Go grab you some fresh corn. Heck, pull it out of your freezer, boil you some corn up, make you some of this. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'm going to be posting a lot of summer recipes coming up, so stay tuned for that. Okay, everyone, I'll see you on the next episode.